Webtesting.io automated testing solution for JSON APIs allows developers and testers to run automated API tests from Microsoft Excel. With this solution, you may test your JSON APIs continuously without any coding and share your test results in near real time with your colleagues. Let's get started. With webtesting.io automated testing solution for JSON APIs, I will show you how to prepare automated tests for a simple JSON API web service that provides daily exchange rates. This exchange rate API returns five elements. We will write an automated test for this API to confirm the success element equals true and the currency code element equals MXN. Now let's open the webtesting.io JSON API automated test platform. First, we create an automated test name in the test name column. Second, we define the target URL. We will use the URL for the exchange rates JSON API. Then, we identify the HTTP verb used for the test. In this case, we will use the HTTP verb get. In this test, there is no JSON data being posted to the API, so we will leave column D, JSON document empty for now. This column will contain data for the JSON APIs that require incoming JSON data. Expected name is the element name of the value being tested. Let's enter success for the element name. The expected value is the value anticipated and the value that is actually being tested. We will enter true since we do expect the name value pair success to equal true. Actual value is returned from the JSON API response. Pass fail is automatically identified by the application. Last ran is the timestamp of the test. Actual response from API contains a raw JSON response. Let's run the tests. As you can see, the test ran successfully. We have received the actual value, a passing test result, an updated timestamp, and the actual response from the API. Now let's test for the currency code equals MXN. First, we're going to copy our test case name into the test name column. We do not need to enter the URL again in this row since we are testing the same JSON response in row two. Leave the HTTP verb column blank. Leave the request document blank. In the expected name column, I will enter currency underscore code. And for the expected value, I will enter MXN. Let's run the test again. Once again, we received all passing scores. Let's run a more sophisticated test. First, let's define the test name. Next, we will identify the target URL. This time, we will use post for the HTTP verb. Now, we will enter the JSON request document. We expect a value of $44.38. Let's run the test. As you can see, we received additional passing test results. Let's change the expected value to an incorrect value, $44.45. Let's see what happens. Now we see a fail score in the pass fail column. Let's change the subtotal back to the rightful amount. And run the test again. Now the tests are passing once more. Let's continue to test additional elements of the JSON response.
We may also test elements found in arrays using basic JavaScript notation. Let's run the tests and review the results. We add a typo here. We don't have a field called shipping underscore cost. The real field element is called shipping. So we received an error saying shipping underscore cost is not found. Let's rerun the test. We receive passing scores again. Let's review the metrics tab down below. The metrics are captured for each test cycle. The date timestamp is captured. The total number of test scripts are documented and reported. The total number of test scripts passed are automatically reported as well. The same goes for the number of test scripts failed as well as the percentage of test scripts passed. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the webtesting.io JSON API platform. If you have any additional questions or comments, please contact us at info at webtesting.io. Thank you for watching.